matching that you see here. You're going to see man-to-man -man across the field, but you really do see a team that transitions from that. Oh, here's a bad giveaway. Bad giveaway there. Judson picking it up. He'll get a shot away. It's an easy enough save. Yule will try the other side. Espinosa. And now for Erickson. Looking at Tard. Magnus Erickson. Not an attempt away. It's well up over the bar. On the back. Comfortable passes. The fire just shifting, shifting. Well, let me ask, because if this was a standalone tournament like a World Cup, both of these teams would draw suits them to go through. There's still that emphasis on the regular season points. Which we but saw. El Sapong off the restart. Frankowski coming to get it. Sekulich on the outside. Rios trying to recover. Ross is in deep. Harich looping header. Comfortable second save of the night for Vega after having really nothing to do the first 30 minutes. COVID-19 is limiting access to sports and play for millions of kids nationwide. That's why Fox Sports is teaming up with Good Sports to restore play and bring sports back to children in need. For donations of brand new sports equipment to learn how you can help keep kids in the game, visit goodsports.org. Robbie Tushan going for a spill. <laughs> Shea Salinas, who scored the 98th minute winner, and the all-timer, Chris Wondolowski, available for San Jose tonight as the second half is underway. Yellow card shown. Jutson. The forward for him with River then. The yellow card shown by Rami Tushan now. I agree with you, and it'll be interesting to see what substitutions we see. Are they... Rule into the space, Espinosa trying to get inside of Francisco Cabo, Espinosa, there we go, we needed it. Christian Espinosa just his third goal in 35 games for the Earthquake since the beginning of last season. And the spark that we've been waiting for, we get. Ernst Finisher, it's a great run, he stays on side, Calvo is too deep, keeping him on side. 13 assists last season. But he finishes this one off well. It's a great ball from Jackson. You'll first time to find Espinoza in stride. Takes it across Calvo. Away from him. Opens up his body. And look at that left footed strike. Smashing it. Past Cromo into the back of the net. And we have the opening goal. This would confirm the Earthquakes as the winners in this group. We're going to see another yellow card come out diving. here. Jimenez. Yeah, he's going to give it to Jimenez for diving. How can the fire break the other way? To Padron. Able to keep it, trying to lay it off for Barrett. Sliding through. Barrett is going to get back. Robert Barrett has options. Takes it himself. Save for Vega. The rebound third away by Lima. Still not done as the cross dealt with by Nick Lima a second time. Third save of the night for Daniel Vega. Barrett. Across now. Hurling attempt that's going to be well wide in the end by Frankowski. Perhaps too aware of. I mean, talking to Rafa Vicky about that and saying this is an opponent you have to prepare for differently. But in doing that, it feels to me like they've gotten out of a rhythm of what is comfortable to them in three games under Vicky so far. But a reminder, this match is also available without adding crowd noise on FoxSports.com along with the Fox Sports app. As now Rami Tushan's going to be in a situation here of Fourth Chicago Fire player yellow carded just in this half. Navarro resetting. Roll through. And Ebers there had the attempt blocked. Looks like Jungberg got his body in the way. Navarro keeping it in play. His cross into the middle. That was dealt with by Kashia. Five of their wins came in second half stoppage time. For that matter, three draws they earned with goals in second half stoppage time. Espinosa's cross. Rios looking to bring it down. Rios turning to shoot himself. Pulls it well wide. Oh, that would have been a golasso. Los Fierro and Danny Houston will be the others coming on alongside Juan Lassi. Good move on the outside. Numbers filtering in now. Salinas from a tight angle hit the outside netting as he almost somewhat repeated what he did in the 98th minute Wednesday night. Chris Wanolowski, the all-time leading goal scorer in MLS history. His goal off the bench the other night. His 13th as a substitute, tied for the fifth most in MLS history. 
Thompson joining up. Wide again for Fierro. Fierro into a cross. Great position. There it is once again. How easy is that to draw for a man who has now done that 161 times? Chris Wondolowski, 2-0 Earthquakes. Soccer history does it again. Playing on the shoulder, does what he does so well. His movement being alive in the box, it's a terrific ball in. It's bending towards, but Chris Wondolowski, he's completely unmarked. You do not want to give that man time and space in the box and just look the snap of the header right here. So clinical, excellent technique, and not a chance for Cronholm. Just watches it go home. Even then, he was the fourth forward on the depth chart coming into the 2010 season. The guys in front of him got banged up in an Open Cup game early in the season as the fire filter numbers forward, and that shot's going to be wide in the end from Collier. And Magnus Eriksson looks like he's going to get a yellow card out of that. Indeed he is. Here's Mihailovic now for Chicago. Do they have any sort of a response? Not away wide. Kofsky cutting it back through traffic. Vega knocked it down. And another offside flag against that threat. This is 38th professional game in all competitions, including his time in Argentina. As Houston now off the throw. He'll let it fly, and that misses wide. He's trying to keep their concentration here to keep the zero on the board. Maybe Madron to take. What would probably be the final action of this game. His in-swinging corner. And Vega had to play safe and push it over, but that is going to be the end of the game.